Okay, I thought I would give you a comprehensive review on the questions I had before I purchased this. Um, and this is the Artistic Portable, uh, what is it called? Portable e Desktop Easel, okay? So, uh, this is roughly, let's see here. I'm guessing with everything about 11 inches this way and including all the hardware, mm, probably 15, something like that, 15 inches this way. Um, and it was the inside drawer dimensions. Now, I read some of the comments on there and the, the Q&As, and I had some concerns because people were saying that it was very poor quality. Well, I thought I would tell you that mine came in very good shape with just a couple of cosmetic issues, which you can see one of these here. It's just varnish. Not a big deal. Um, uh, some of the edges, you know, they could stand a little bit of gluing, but it doesn't appear that, uh, you know, it's going to fall apart anytime soon. Um, the latches uh, are, are really good. There's two sets, one on each side of the drawers, and this is the only thing that I saw that was, you know, needed to be fixed, but I could just take an emery board to that. There is a latch on the back that holds the easel. And um, if you notice, this part right here is square. All right. But when you raise it up, it is not level. Okay. So I don't think that's going to affect the functionality of it. But time will tell. If I keep this thing, because uh, I'm kind of frustrated, but if I can fix it, then I might keep it and modify it and put some magnets uh, so that when I have my easel, I mean, when I have the the board canvas that I usually use, um, or I can uh, put um, hardwood or a foam board on it think today okay so one of the things that I wanted to know is what will fit in these drawers all right because I have a lot of stuff now obviously I'm not going to get every single item into here you know including that but I wanted to see what would fit because if I do plein air painting then I want to know what I can bring all right and it's got a nice handle on it seems to be well made um, so the only thing that I would recommend is put some sort of, uh, felt or, um, what do they call that? The, the sticky stuff that you put in your drawers, you know, to make it not move because it moves and it scratches. My desktop is suffering, but I can clean that up. So I would add that anti-slip stuff is what I was thinking of. Um, now, these two drawers are supposed to be identical in size. Well, guess what? They're not. Uh, these are supposed to be like a half an inch deep. And these this is supposed to be an inch deep. Well, they're not. All right, so these drawers are extremely shallow. Sorry for the shakiness. Okay, I'm just going to take this out. Now, if I keep this, I may be getting rid of these. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't want to uh, affect the stabilization of it. I probably would, if I did anything, I would cut these out so that it would fit more stuff. Of course, pens, pencils, uh, watercolor, I mean, any any of these things, any, any of these would fit in here, all right? Uh, but what won't fit... <laughs> This is just really, I wanted this for this purpose because I have in here, I have watercolor, wash, acrylic, a couple different kinds of acrylic, the mediums, the brushes, obviously. Um, but when I went to put these in, that's really irritating. So I thought, well, 
what kind of what kind of thing is this this is metal and then, well, what if i do this okay this one is also metal so when you use them a little bit but this one is plastic now you could theoretically jam them in there oh look at that doesn't work now what will fit in here uh let's see will this fit in here yes this will fit in here these will fit in here that will not uh this will not the brushes <laughs> i spent way too much money on this to cut this down no that isn't gonna fit this is not gonna fit okay and uh, you know i've had that for many years so i'd be willing to sacrifice those but here's another one you know it's not gonna fit all right the only place they will fit is on the bottom drawer but that's valuable real estate all right now that'll fit at an angle okay so all that stuff <laughs> except for these will fit all right however i did discover that if you put them in here because i have so many i wanted to separate them by kind It's just like going to the doctor when you want stuff to work. Okay, so this will fit in here, but certainly not even half of that will go in here. So I thought that all of these little tubes, you know, even if you, uh, even if you put them in a slant. I don't know. No, it, it's it's not gonna. It's very frustrating. So, the depth of these is okay. Now you gotta take off that little bunch there. So it is. It looks like it's a half an inch. Okay, because you'd have to remove that little mark. All right. But, but the problem is, is the rims on these little tiny 12 milliliter tubes. Now the metal casings fit much better than the plastic ones. <laughs> but guess what? I have 36 plastic ones. 36 is not going to fit in here. I, I just, I don't think it will fit at all. And you can't put the excess in there. Now tape fit in here yep the tape will fit in here it did not fit on the top I'll see no tape tape <sighs> all right um of course the brushes are gonna fit and if i keep this i'm just gonna waterproof the bottom of each of the drawers uh of course little little containers will fit um i use this to make uh, the um, acrylic retarder and the uh unlocking fluid um and the and the magic white gesso okay so i mean normally i have a different container but i just thought that this would fit in there um this is not going to fit. All right. So the reason I'm showing you this is because, all right, this is a nine by 12. I want it to be able to put in my art journal. Okay. This is a nine by 12. Canson watercolor mixed media type thing it won't fit however let's zoom in in here if i were to take the paper out and i just had paper in here yes it would fit okay and a little bit to spare but 
I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, clearly I have. Oh, clearly I have watercolor paper and. <sighs> I just have to modify it a little bit to put some uh, either foam board, foam board or hardwood board on there so that I could tape this on it. But let's look at this last drawer, okay? This is not going to fit this way because, you know, that would be too easy. So we know the watercolor 9 by 12 pad fits in there and probably a palette would fit in there too, okay, if you had it in a block. But that's not going to fit this way. It will fit this way. Now, you think, well, why don't you just take this thing off? Well, I would, but it still isn't going to fit. All right. This is not going to fit. And uh, no matter what I do, if I took the pad out, it isn't going to fit. Okay. It just isn't going to go. And I'm not going to open this up and sacrifice the, uh, the, the, the palette. This one will fit, however. All right, barely, but it will fit. One of these will fit. One of these palettes will fit. Um, of course, a ruler will fit. Uh, if you wanted to have a blending brush, It's a little snug, but it would fit. Now, it's not going to fit at all <laughs> in this thing, unless you really mash it in there, okay? And again, I don't want to wreck the, the brush. It's not going to fit in here. However, little, little sponges and stuff, they'll fit in there. Um, there is, okay, what else? A pair of glasses, in case you lose them, they fit in a pinch. Um, the acrylic medium, that would fit. Now, here's something interesting, okay? I don't think it's going to fit with this palette, but I usually save my empties. Okay, I need to get rid of this palette. Okay. Yeah, this isn't going to fit. However, if you just had a space for medium, I wanted to show you which container would fit. All right? Now, Jot, I think this is from Target. Uh, that will fit in here. This staples uh, container, the glue will fit. This little tiny, um, what is it, uh, two fluid ounces of acrylic polymer. This will all fit in here nicely. So one of those is going to be for magic white. One is going to be retired or, or um, un unblocking or unlocking fluid, rather. Um, some of the other things that will fit. Uh, let's see here. A couple of these spritzers for the unlocking fluid. Of course, they'll all fit in the bottom drawer. But they will also fit in the top drawer. This little bottle, I think this is a one ounce bottle, will not fit in these drawers. Okay. But they will fit. Let's see, uh, for comparison, uh, pinata, okay, these are the, um, I think these are uh, half an ounce, half a fluid ounce, these will fit on the bottom, but they will not fit on the top. Okay, so I think on this very long video, I think that about does it, and uh, of course, you know, you can put these in here. I mean, really, I'm only going to have one of these jars, probably. All right, so, yeah, you can fit one of this and this. 
No, that isn't going to fit. So it's either one flat palette and one watercolor thing and a few pencils, maybe a, a scissor. Um, yeah, not much more. Not much more. So I'm going to try to fill this up. Maybe I will include a very short video. I know this is extremely long. But I wanted to show you because really it's just common sense. If you're going to build something, you know, that that is good for watercolor, uh, acrylic, oil, you know, you should be consistent in, in what you do. Because people are assuming that these drawers are identical in size and in depth. And they're not. So, all right. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, like I said, if I keep them, I am going to change this to be a magnetic backing, uh, just because I don't want it flying all over the place. Um, and yeah, other than that, it's, it's a pretty good buy, I think. Um, if you're just starting out, it's, it's great. I mean, I don't see any, any problems with it. Let me unlock this. And I can put either the watercolor pad on here or, and there's a nice little lip on it, or I can include this. So I'm going to leave you with, uh, with that. And um, yeah, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you have a really good day, and uh, I wish someone had posted one of these for me. And again, I apologize for the length, but I think it's really important for to, to know what you're spending on. And for me, the quality was was pretty good. It was acceptable for the price tag that I paid for it, which was around $33. I think that was on sale. So, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a little upset that it didn't fit all of these little portable things in there, but yeah, I uh, will work around it. All right. So everybody take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.